we don't want no soybean oil. Step your pussy up. Step your pussy up. Hey y'all, it's Sheree. What's up? Back with another video. As you can see from the title, today we'll be talking about new drugstore natural hair releases, hair releases child. I don't know why I'm going to title this thing, but we're going to be talking about new releases at the drugstore. I've never done a video like this, but I see a lot of folks do these type of videos. NJ Everhart has done several videos like this over the years. Y'all, there's so many releases right now. It's ridiculous. It is crazy. And that really just underscores what I said in my Black Capitalism video. If you seen my Black Capitalism video, you can definitely check it out. It's my previous video. But we have no shortage of hair products, y'all. We have no shortage. I'm about to bring y'all so many new releases. And that's why this outcry and this like fake outrage, honestly, really makes me itch. Because we are not, there's no, there's no shortage. We are not pressed for hair products. This is not 2009. We have more products than we will ever need. And this video is just really going to highlight and underscore that, that the, the folks on TikTok are absolutely crazy, okay? We ain't pressed for nothing. If you're new here and you've never seen my face, but you like my face, definitely be sure to subscribe so you can stick around. Give this video a thumbs up and like goes such a long way, especially if you want to see more content like this and we can go into it per usual. Everything will be linked down below. I'm not pressuring you to buy nothing. Lord knows we don't need another hair product, but if you are going to buy it anyway, Click a link and save a life, sis. It really does help my channel. It keeps the content going. And I would love you forever. Now, y'all know <clears throat> that I said that I'm really stepping back when it comes to buying natural hair products. I just can't buy it all. I can't use it all. I only got so much hair. But I am interested in sharing the releases because a lot of things y'all may not know about, you may want to pick up. We can talk about what's worth it, what may not be worth it, things that I'm considering picking up. There were some things where I'm like, that's the cart. If you know about any other releases, definitely let me know. Y'all be having y'all ears to the ground more than I do. I do not really keep up with the releases like that. So doing these type of videos will keep me up to date of what's going on and also keep you up to date as well. L'Oreal has released the Ever Pure Sulfate Free Bond Repair Pre-Shampoo Treatment. One thing about the hair care industry, we can run bond repair to the ground because everybody and their mama is coming out with the new bond repair line to really basically jump on the success of Olaplex, right? We know I'm an Olaplex stand on my channel. Whether I talk about Olaplex or not, I'll be using it <laughs> offline. So this is a bond repair product. Just because something is bond repair, it really doesn't mean it's an Olaplex dupe. Even though these products are trying to jump on the success of Olaplex, none of these products have the molecule that Olaplex uses, which is beta-aminopropyl diglycol demiliate. It's a patented technology. It's patented. They can't use it at least not right now, until of course the patent is open for everybody and Lord knows when that's gonna happen. Um, so right now a lot of these brands are using like citric acid as like this alternative, but girl, is it? Can citric acid really be alternative? So these products are really not a dupe for Olaplex, they're really honestly a dupe for Redken. Redken, Redken came out with a citric acid type of product of, I don't know how long ago, like a year or two ago, I've never tried it because that's before I was really into the bond repair sphere. Um, but we getting in there and I probably will pick that up. But anyway, I said all that to say that L'Oreal has come up with a dupe for that Redken product because we know Redken is not cheap. I think that product is like $40 for four ounces, something like that. It's in my cart, so we can talk about that in a second. But anyway, L'Oreal has come out with this pre-shampoo treatment. The ingredients look pretty good. Um, there's no silicones in it for those of you who are silicone. Um, Anti-silicone. Um, it's a basic ingredient list. It may work well enough. It is $13.99 for 5.1 fluid ounces, which is actually really good. Um, so do not buy this with the intention that you think you're going to do all Plex. You're not. But you will dupe a Redken product, potentially. Redken product is also in my cart. It is the Redken Acetic, acetic 
bonding concentrate intensive treatment mask for damaged hair it's it is the same 5.1 fluid ounces, but it's $32. So I definitely think this is the this is a direct competitor with the Redken product. Even people will run and you know race and say it's all it's an Olaplex dupe. It's really a Redken dupe because nothing can truly dupe Olaplex. Um, but that is in my cart, and I'm definitely going to pick that up because I'm considering doing like a bond repair video, comparing a bunch of different bond repair uh, products. So that's something that you're interested in. That definitely let me know down below and give this video a thumbs up. So that's new on the market. Also, Curl Smith has added two products to their moisture line. They've added a cleanser as well as a conditioner. I did see Bianca Renee do a review on it. Um, so, uh, before they've had, like, a deep treatment, they had a co op which I really did enjoy. It wasn't a necess necessarily a favorite of mine, but I did enjoy it. Um, they have, like, an oil and cream, blah, blah, blah. I'm not really a, uh, I'm not really a Curl Smith stan, but if you are a Curl Smith stan, um, these are some new products on the market. They are 12 fluid ounces for $26. I'm not going to pick it up because, girl, I, I do not care about Curl Smith. No, she no, she ain't. No pink lemonade. I do not care about Curl Smith. Pacifica just launched a Coco Bond Damage uh, Care Leave in Hair Mask. One thing about these brands, y'all, they going to run Bond Repair into the ground. Did I not tell y'all that? Um, it's a full line. Uh, well, it's a kind of a kind of a full line depends on what you consider a full line i think there's a shampoo there's a conditioner and then there's a leave-in mask i'm pretty sure in the coco bond damage line the one i'm most interested in though is the leave-in hair mask because i've been loving some other products offline i will have a video on that soon but this is four fluid ounces it's 16 dollars um, but it sounds really good to me. The ingredients sound really yummy. It's silicone free. Uh, let's go over the ingredients right quick. I know most of y'all don't care, but I do. We don't want no soybean oil. <laughs> um, there's aloe vera juice as the first ingredient, cetyl alcohol, sterile alcohol, which are all fatty alcohols. They help with conditioning the hair. I'm keeping, uh, basically keeping like frizz that base, stuff like that. The it's basically anti-static ingredients as well. Um, there's behentramonium methyl sulfate, known to us as BTFS, which combines oil and water. It's also a conditioner. The satiro alcohol, more fatty alcohols, just to give that nice uh, conditioner feel. Behentramonium chloride, sorry, sorry y'all. Um, apricot oil, lentil seed extract. That's different. I've never seen that in a product. Like literally, it sounds freaking amazing. There's also vegan collagen in it. Um, there's some peptides in it. I wonder if this is a dupe for K18. If y'all know K18, it's like a really super expensive product. It's like two fluid ounces, one fluid ounce or something for $90 or $80. I wonder if that's supposed to be a dupe for K18. I have gotten PR from Pacifica in the past. I hope they send it to me in PR. If they don't, I still think I'm going to pick it up. Um, $16 for four fluid ounces is nothing compared to K18. So that's definitely something that I may pursue. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely not going to get the shampoo and conditioner because I have enough shampoo and conditioner. But I go through leave-in. So that sounds really good. I don't need anything else but... I might need that. Damn, I talk too much. <laughs> we not even through all these products, and I'm like way in. Um, let's keep going, y'all. Living Proof has come up with a no frizz smoothing line. I don't know if this is new, but I've seen this on Sephora and Ulta as like new products, so maybe it is new. I do love the Living Proof styling spray. I've talked about that before on my channel. Um, uh, during the for my Sephora recommendations, haven't seen that video. Highly recommend that you check it out. But, um, I mean, nothing can, like, get rid of frizz, right? Like, one thing about natural hair, it's gonna frizz. But, because I love other Living Proof products, I'm looking at it. It's two ounces for $18. I know that's gonna, that's kind of high for most people. But I'm, like, as of late, really getting into, like, salon quality products. So I don't mind spending a little bit more. It's also silicone-free. 
Uh, I think Living Proof is usually silicone free. The fragrance is at the bo bottom of the ingredient list, which is good. So that means all the other yummy ingredients in this are higher up. Um, there's water. There's some things I can't pronounce, but I'm only hoping it's good for the hair. Living Proof has really good products. They don't really market to us in ways that a lot of these white brands don't market to us, but doesn't mean that it's not good. Like I've discovered some really bomb products that weren't for us, but worked really well for me. I may add this to cart. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe something I pick up. Comet by Logics. This is definitely not new, but I guess it's new to Ulta because I don't know if y'all know, but Comet used to be at Sephora and now they're at Ulta. Girl, I don't know why. I don't know if y'all weren't buying that <laughs> watery grease. Let me stop. <laughs> I've had, like, I love Comet sealants, but they're like moisturizers. Haven't really been it for me, but, um, they now have an olive and honey hydrating balm at Ulta, but it's it's, a, it's not a new product. It's, it's been around. It just used to be 8 ounces for $16, I believe. And now it's 4 ounces for $16. One thing about it, they may not change the ingredients, but they're going to they gonna definitely make it smaller at the same price. Hello, Mish. Um, no, she don't shade, but... This has yummy ingredients. Um, it has olive oil, glycerin uh sorbitol so basically it's oil and humectants which is really dope to me as someone that's like wearing their hair in a more stretched state um I'm, i've been looking for like a styler i can use without reverting my hair because i've been dealing with like wanting my hair stretched but also wanting definition and not filing not being able to find that balance so i may pick this up i don't know i could also make this myself um, but I also could pick it up. <laughs> so, we're gonna see. We'll think about it. Like, I want cold, but I also want moisture, but I don't want water in it. Can, is that possible? We gonna see. So I'm thinking about that because it does says it's hydrating because it does have humectants in it. So that actually sounds really yummy. Um, we'll think about it. For those of you who just need oil on your scalp <laughs> design essentials has come out with a scalp and skincare anti-itch and tension relief product i guess it's for those wearing protective styles ten dollars for four ounces which is actually really good because we know some other oils are just two ounces for ten dollars so it's actually really good for the price let's see the ingredients it's actually water-based which is different usually an oil is just an oil but i guess it's more of a serum so there's also water in it there's polysorbate 20 which basically it's like a emulsifier so it helps to basically help with oil and water but it's not really conditioning as far as i know but i think it does help with like frizz and anti-static there's glycerin which is moisturizes there's probendiol propendi prop propendiol i don't know how to pronounce that y'all but i know what it is it's basically a humectant there's witch hazel which can help to clean the scalp um this actually sounds dope there's lemon peel oil sunflower oil there's no rosemary oil or tea tree. Oh, there's peppermint oil in this. This might be a good replacement for some other oils in the market if you have like an itchy scalp and stuff. And the price is actually good. Four ounces for $10 is actually pretty damn good. There's the Donna's Recipe um, product. So Tabitha Brown, our favorite vegan auntie, has come out with her own line. Tabitha Brown is really <laughs> in her bag. We talking seasonings, hair care, clothing, uh, home decor. I'm sure she's about to come out with some skincare. I'm sure she's going to partner with Nike. Like, Tabitha Brown is going all the way. And can I be mad in it, okay? Can I be mad about it? We all just trying to navigate capitalism the best way we can. God damn. Sis is in her bag. Anyway, so she came out with like a sweet potato pie line. There's a... Don't let me get to lying, y'all. There's a extra creamy hair and scalp oil there's a leave-in conditioner there's a moisturizing shampoo a creamy hair cream and a conditioner there's no deep conditioner right now maybe that's in the work with the shoes and the skincare um not gonna, i'm not gonna hold you like i did i have supported tabitha brown endeavors in the past 
but nothing, and I mean nothing, is pulling me towards this collection. I've seen like two or few reviews, not many, because the girls just don't be reviewing like they used to. Y'all remember back in the day on YouTube where if a line came out, there would be like dozens and dozens of reviews? Those days are gone, y'all. Have y'all seen the writing on the wall? Those days are freaking over. Um, so I haven't seen many reviews on it. And the ones I have seen, they've given it, you know, two thumbs up. But, no. Mm. I'm, I'm sorry, respectfully. There's nothing I personally want from the line. Nothing really sticks out to me. If they, Alexis and I were talking about this in the Insider Tea. If there was a deep conditioner, maybe, but... Nothing about it really calls me, and this is no shade to Tabitha Brown, like I said. I've, all, I've done spent money with Tabitha Brown. This just ain't it. They, they do have amazing ingredients. Um, if you have coconut oil sensitive, you may want to stay away. But one of the first ingredients in this, what did I click on? In this leave-in conditioner is squalane. Squalane is an exceptional uh, moisturizing type of humectant ingredient. We don't really see this in hair care very much. We usually see honey or glycerin uh, or propylene glycol. These are all humectants. So squalane is very unique. Um, uh, Pentramonium chloride, we've, see, we've seen that in products. Um, there is some isopropyl alcohol really high up on the list, but I'm pretty sure it's used to, um, what's the word? As, not as a emulsifier, but as a, a mixing agent, I'm sure, with other ingredients. I used to be kind of anti-isopropyl alcohol before, but now that I know more about formulations, seeing it high up doesn't really give me pause because it could be used um to help with some of these other ingredients so it doesn't mean it's gonna dry your hair out just because you i mean some things like, ingredients don't say everything right it really comes down to formula so it could be it doesn't have to be drying because iso isopropyl alcohol is so high and i've had to unlearn that myself as a natural the sweet potato extract which is high up you know usually um they'll <laughs> the marketed product is not the product that we see in here so it's good that you know it's high up but extracts, I mean, that could still be nothing because the extract is only something that's like emulsified in like an alcohol or a water. Uh, so we don't really know how much of that extract is in it. But whatever, who cares, girl? These people do not care why you go ahead into this ingredient list. There's sugar apple sap. There's really yummy ingredients. Um, there's mango seed butter, vanilla extract, cocoa seed butter. Really, really yummy ingredients. Definitely encourage y'all to support Auntie Tab and pick it up. Like I said, I'm not really going to pick it up, but y'all should definitely pick it up and support. We always, we got to support us, right? We're the only ones that can support us. And last for Ulta, because we still got to look at Target. We still got to look at Walmart, Walmart, child. So let me hurry up. Um, Not Your Mother's Launch. <laughs> guess what Not Your Mother's Launch? Just guess. I'm going to give you a second to guess. More Bond products. <laughs> um, not Your Mother's Launch, a Curl Talk bonding, bond building shampoo and conditioner. There's no like pre-treatment in it or anything like that or a leave-in. I'm just not excited for shampoo and conditioner. I just have too much shampoo and conditioner. And you, I don't really use rinse and conditioner that much. And shampoo, like, how much shampoo do I need? I'm not sure what is in this product that is making them call it a bond repair product maybe it might be the the rice amino acids or the as per gilius ferment because i've never heard of that before oh let's see what the details say the key ingredients is their dual action curl power complex um i don't really know what that means i guess it's whatever complex of ingredients that we read but i don't know how that actually repairs the bonds y'all so i was actually in target yesterday and there was a lot of new products and that's what really motivated me or inspired me to make this video um so carol's daughter has come out with another line it is their born to repair nourishing conditioner with shea butter this is actually silicone free carol's daughter products their last few releases have not been silicone free so it's kind of refreshing that this one is silicone free for those of us who tend not to really 
bang with silicone in their curly hair routines. Like when it comes to my like straight hair or my like blowouts, I love my little silicone, but usually not with my curly hair. There is a nourishing conditioner, there's a shampoo, there's a leave-in defining cream, and there's also like a 60 second like treatment or something. The only thing that I am really like, hmm, is the Born to Repair uh, defining leave-in cream. The ingredients seemed really interesting. One thing about Target, you gotta, you gotta fight for these ingredients. That's why I like Ulta. Because the ingredients are always just there for you. Target, not always. But it has pretty good ingredients. And like I said, silicone free, water, glycerin, cereal alcohol, sunflower oil, um, a derivative of gorgum. Oh shit, that may flake. Mm. Every time I see gorgum high up, I'm like, mm -mm. So maybe I'm not as excited, but that's also something, um, y'all know that Parazada Coco Creme is one of my favorite moisturizers and stylers, so, I don't know, I'm kind of interested in that defining leave-in cream, but not right now, because I have so many creams in my stash, and it would be a travesty, it would be completely insane for me to buy another one. Now, if they sent it in PR, would I take it? Absolutely, but would I buy it? Eventually, because I'm interested in it. I just can't. I, I can't possibly do it right now. I can't. Design Essentials has also come out with more products. I saw these products weeks ago, but it was only on the Design Essentials site. But now they've actually made it to Target. It is their Shea Bay Strengthening and Curl Perfecting uh, hairline. They are literally <laughs> four years too late. Shea Bay had a time in like 2018, 2019. Who the hell are we talking about Shea Bay? Like, Design Essentials is so late. Like, these brands be so late. And I get it because you have to, like, test it. You got to make it, test it, run it through all of these channels when you're at this level. Like, Design Essentials is, at, like, one of the highest levels at the hair game. They're not making shit in their kitchen and just selling it to their cousins, right? So it does take a bit more, but Shea Bay? Like, Camille Rose just came out with a Shea Bay line, like, a year ago, and I thought that was late. This is late as hell, but it's it's here now. They have a mousse, they have a mask, they have it's a full collection. Um, so you can definitely check it out. Most of the products are around like $16.99. They have a mousse, and Sits always loves a mousse, a 10 fluid ounce mousse. So it's a big mousse. Usually mousses are around six to eight ounces. So 10 ounces, $17. Really ain't bad. Thing to consider if y'all are interested in it. Salt Air has come out with a shampoo and conditioner. If you don't know Salt Air, it's like a viral TikTok body wash. They did send me PR and the body wash is actually really good. I will pick that up again. The shampoo and conditioner is really affordable. Even though it looks really luxe, it's really affordable. $14 for, I mean, <laughs> $12 for 14 ounces. Um, I love the... I love this, like the brown one. I love that scent. Uh, Sentai Bloom smells delicioso. Because I love the uh, body wash, I would be interested in trying the shampoo and conditioner, but I only need so much shampoo and conditioner, so I don't see me personally picking it up anytime soon, but it is there. And then lastly, Function of Beauty has come out with more products. Y'all know Function of Beauty started off as doing like custom hair care, but now they're in Target and they're doing well, it's not custom you like they have like a line of products now and before they had a shampoo and a conditioner i think that was the extent of it and maybe some there were some boosters that you could buy but now they actually have like styling products they have a styling gel a styling hair mousse and a curl cream um so that's really interesting. The mousse is 7 fluid ounces for $12.99. I mean, they're really affordable. 6.5 fluid ounces for $13. Not super duper expensive. It's not our traditional 8 ounces, so you're not getting as much. But I'm pretty sure it's marketed to us because the hands on this pro on this person is black. Um, so I guess this is for, for us. Even the pictures, it's us. So I guess this is supposed to be for black women. Um, the reviews are good so far. I don't really see myself picking it up. I do love the function of beauty shampoo, like the custom shampoo. But the conditioner that I bought was just okay. The one I bought in store. So I don't know. I'm not pushed. I have enough stylers. Like, I bought so many stylers recently. So I don't see myself actually getting... 
actually getting those functional beauty products but they are there in target if you want to check them out and lastly we're gonna just jump to uh walmart um it's not really much there at walmart a lot of things don't really come out at walmart but walmart i do want to say that tia mori is coming out with her own line it's called for you which i think is such a cute name um in the insider tea we were talking about this i think alexis sent me a alexis sent me a screenshot and then i put it in the insider tea and we were talking about it but um i probably will pick it up because i feel like people will want to see a review but it also depends on what they're offering because right now it's just coming soon so we don't know exactly what they're coming out with it looks like a hair oil and maybe like a cream or something but i wasn't really sure from the preview video so i'm not really sure what it's going to give i'm hoping it's hoping it's going to give something because i haven't had really good uh really good luck with celebrity lines like pattern taraji p henson mono's hair even though she's not a celebrity she is in the natural hair space Mm, was I really a fan of those lines so I may get it just to review it or I may not like I'm still beyond that just reviewing it for YouTube phase um but girl we're gonna see but I'm interested to see what comes out um, I may pick it up depending on the type of products and lastly Kaleidoscope has come out with a um soul fed line they have like a uh, leave-in they have a conditioner I'm pretty sure they have a shampoo and conditioner as well but i'm so shampoo and conditioner out okay yeah they have a growth booster oil y'all know they love to boost us up with this hair oil that's 25 dollars for four ounces so it's not affordable um there's a leave-in there's a shampoo there's a deep conditioner and there's a styler the styler is called the peach cobbler styler like all of them sound delicious you have a peach cobbler styler a cranberry deep conditioner a uh the shampoo ain't sexy it's a regular shampoo the marshmallow leave-in conditioner and then the pecan pie growth booster like these products sound so good it may all be a gimmick but it sounds delicious um I probably will not pick these up because I've never really heard like amazing things about Kaleidoscope. I do think they are black owned, I do believe, but I've never really pulled to it because none of the ingredients, I mean, none of the products sound, sound amazing to me and the ingredients are just, like this oil is four ounces for $25. The first ingredient is soybean oil. Sunflower oil which is another cheap oil. Then there's avocado oil, which is high. The refined one is not so high. It may be a refined avocado oil, which is cheaper. Oh, girl, no. So that turned me off immediately. Um, let's see what the deep conditioner is saying. At least Walgreens, at least freaking Walmart got ingredients. Target, step your pussy up. Step your pussy up, Target. Um, the ingredients nothing really sticking out to me it feeling real basic it feeling real basic it's giving basic um 12 ounces 19 dollars nothing in the ingredients where i'm like oh i need to have that um i mean if y'all pick it up let me know if you have tried it let me know but i'm not really pressed for these colitis soap products honestly mm. Maybe if I see some reviews, I have not seen a Kaleida Soap review in like two, three years. Last person I saw do a review was Denise Adore, and that girl ain't had natural hair since Jesus was a boy, so <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> not really feeling it. Well, these are all the new hair care releases in the drugstore. If you want to see more videos like this, definitely let me know if you enjoyed this. Definitely let me know um if you want to see makeup or skincare definitely comment down below i know y'all do not care about anything but hair but this is a new year y'all this is a new time it's a new era so we're gonna we're gonna branch out a little bit right um maybe i'll do one for skincare since clearly <laughs> skin is in but that's it for now if you enjoyed this let me know let me know what you're planning to pick up what you're not planning to pick up stuff where you're like i have to have this thanks for telling me about it and stuff where you're like bruh they could have kept that on the production line let me know down below let's let's kiki as always thanks so much for watching i love you be well until next time peace bye y'all